time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready, we're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning, it's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with chief investment officer, my father, the man with the plan, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this uh, this fine weekend? Well, good morning, Rye. I'll tell you what. Things were warming up this week in the weather, but boy, were they hot on Wall Street. Boy, the market rocketed to all-time record highs, leaving everybody in the dust. Another hot week, as you would say, on the street of dreams. So, yeah, Bob. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you. Oh, all right. I'm all ready. I'm all ears. A little financial trivia this morning. What is the best performing stock this year? The best performing stock this year, I'm going to say Amazon, right? Because uh, they're doing so much money. They're doing so much business online. Uh, online shopping has just exceeded brick and mortar shopping. So it's got to be Amazon. You would think, but you're actually wrong. It's actually a oh. Chinese company. Tencent Holdings is up 125% this year and actually is the fifth largest stock that's traded publicly in the world. So, you know, we talk about being global all the time. But uh, it's actually not a U.S. company. It's a Chinese company that's uh, outperformed everything this year. So typical of um, a U.S. investor, right? As soon as you asked me the best performing stock, what did I think? U.S. An American I company. Think about you know the emerging markets where we're making the most money this year. Unbelievable. And actually, one more statistic for you: if you would have put seventeen hundred dollars into this Tencent Holdings in June of two thousand and four for the IPO, guess what that'd be worth today? I'll say one hundred seventy thousand. A million dollars today. Whoa! <laughs> I wish you would have given me a. That would have been a good stock tip, Bob. I'm a little hurt you didn't uh, figure that one out for me uh, earlier. No, well, you go back and you check your email. I'm pretty sure there was a recommendation in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I digress. We have a All great right. show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about Roth conversions. What is a Roth conversion? We're going to break down exactly what it is and how you can potentially unlock a tax-free income stream for your retirement. We're going to talk about 2018 planning. We only have five weeks left in the year. You've procrastinated it long enough. It's time to get your financial target set for 2018. Bob and I are going to give you a process to set your wealth goals in the new year. Along with this week's financial pornography, we have lots of egregious information out there that we want you to avoid. And on our Spotlight segment today, we have our star advisor, Frankie Lagrateria. She's going to talk about a real case she worked on and some of the flaws, what we call pain points, this couple is making with their retirement planning so you can avoid those same mistakes as well. So let's hop to it. Bob, so there's only four weeks left in the year. And it's hard to believe it's actually December. One strategy that you might want to consider before December 31st is what we call a Roth conversion. So Bob, exactly what is a Roth conversion? Well, right. what a Roth conversion is, since many people can't contribute to a Roth IRA, they can actually convert their traditional IRA, pay taxes, and convert it into a Roth IRA. Now, what are the big benefits of having a Roth IRA versus a traditional IRA? Well, first and foremost, the money is completely tax-free. So all the growth in that money, when you take it out later, you never pay taxes again which is a pretty pretty awesome tax advantage. It's a huge tax advantage. And you know most tax-savvy people will tell you that the best investment is an investment where you don't pay any taxes. So true. So, Ry, why doesn't everybody just take their traditional IRA and convert to a Roth? What are some of the problems with doing that? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like, from face value, it sounds like a great idea. But here are some of the issues you have to consider. When you convert the money out of your retirement account now, whether it's an IRA, your 401k, you're going to pay taxes today. And it really comes down to how much are you going to pay in taxes? Because if you're in a high tax bracket, let's say you've had a big year of income, well, it can take you a lot of years to make up that difference. Because by converting that money, you've got to write a check to the IRS. Now that money is out of your portfolio in the IRS's hands. And then the question is, how long does it take you to make that back with all that tax-free growth in your Roth IRA? So ideally, the only time you really want to do a Roth conversion, and this is why it's good to look at this now at the end of the year, is if you happen to be in a very low tax bracket this year, 
and then you might want to look to convert some money because the other thing is you don't want to convert too much money because it could bump you up to a whole nother tax bracket. So, you know, taxes are really key here. And that's why we always recommend, Bob, we can run a calculator. You know, in fact, we built one, but also we always want to work with your tax advisor. The accountant needs to be involved with a decision like this. Like everything else, you've built this awesome calculator and spreadsheet, which will tell someone if they even need to bother talking to their accountant to see if it makes sense on not only whether to do a Roth conversion, but how much to convert before you get kicked into that higher bracket. But you know what, I also find circumstances where a high net worth individual can benefit from a Roth conversion, right? We always think, oh, it's for people who are younger or people are in lower tax brackets. What if you're going to be in a high tax bracket for the rest of your life and you're a high net worth individual? Yeah. So there's some other Roth strategies too. But again, there's some nuances as well. But the, I think about the backdoor Roth. So right, if, you, if you're a high income earner, Right now, Bob, I don't remember what exactly the the threshold is. If you uh, if you file jointly, how much you know? If you make over how much, when are you uh, limited to make a Roth contribution? Well, it's uh, close to one hundred ninety thousand dollars. Yeah, so if you make over one hundred ninety thousand, there's a potential to do what we call backdoor Roth, where you actually make a non deductible IRA contribution, convert it to a Roth. Now, again, there's a lot of nuances around this. You can't just do it. But point is, if you are a high income earner you might still be able to do a Roth IRA through a backdoor Roth, but you need to know the ins and outs of that. You can't just blindly do that. And that's another conversation to have with your financial planner and your accountant. Well, thanks for you uh, with your gifted insight. Uh, I've been doing that for years and I now have a substantial balance in my Roth that's growing tax-free forever. Which, by the way, Rye, you're going to inherit. Hey, you know, that along with uh, you know, a few for my advice, I think we'd be even. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's other high net worth clients who are going to be high net worth forever. And I find that I just worked with a case the other day, Rye, where we, for estate planning purposes, we convert it to a Roth IRA. They paid the taxes, you know, out of their personal account, which reduced their estate further because they're going to pay an enormous amount of tax going forward. And when we did the calculation, it was better for them to convert a big portion of their IRA today than it was to wait for the required minimum distributions over the next 20 years. Yeah. And that's a brilliant inheritance tax strategy because also- not only that, but the heirs get to take the money tax-free as well. So it's not only over your lifetime, but can be potentially your kids, your grandkids' lifetime as well. So yeah, that's so a I think we can sum it up strategy. by saying Roth conversions, tax-free is good. <laughs> exactly right. So if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, how do I implement a tax-free strategy in retirement? Is a Roth conversion back to a Roth? Using the, the Roth IRA as some sort of estate planning strategy, is that right for me? Well, here's your chance to get a full review. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full review where we'll look at everything. And what that entails, bring in all of your statements, wherever they're held, You know your IRAs, 401ks, brokerage accounts, insurance policies. Bob and I will build for you a customized portal, one login. You can go in and see everything we can review everything and do a full analysis of your portfolio, and we'll break it down into three pages. Number one, we're going to look at income. Can you increase the amount of income on your portfolio? Can you optimize it? Income is so critical in retirement. Bob and I are going to show you exactly how to increase that income on the portfolio. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? You're playing a lot of hidden costs. You don't even know it. Bob and I are going to break down the whole portfolio and point out all the pitfalls for you. And finally, what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine, is your money going to outlive you? Or are you going to outlive your money utilizing strategies we've literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? So take a minute, either give us a call or text us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 844- 752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for retirement, our team will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Just give us a call or text us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob and Rye. We are No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne. 
Chief Investment Officer here at Payne Capital Management. And this week on the Street of Dreams, the market surged higher, breaking through 24,000 for the first time in history. Now, this occurred in spite of the fact that there was a pullback in technology stocks, in other words, growth stocks that have been surging this year and the big winners in 2017, they had a pullback. But the good news is that money did not leave the stock market. Rather, it rotated into other sectors, things like healthcare and financials and industrials. In other words, value stocks, the more cyclical companies that will benefit from the improving U.S. economy, lower corporate tax rates, as well as even higher interest rates, since it's widely expected that the Federal Reserve will increase interest rates later this month. Now, with Senator McCain stating that he will back the tax bill, Wall Street's finally starting to price in the likelihood of corporate tax reform. Now, if the tax bills pass in its current state, tax rates will be reduced, and that will be a big boon for company earnings. Now, remember, we're in a secular bull market. The first leg, which started around 2009, ended in 2015, was really led by stimulus, by interest rates declining. The second leg, which I believe we're in now, is driven by earnings. And as I've discussed many, many times on the show in the past year, we're already in one of the strongest earnings environments in years. This has been a huge boon to the stock market. And if corporate tax cuts and subsequent surge in earnings growth continue, we believe that's going to support higher prices into the foreseeable future. So in this environment, it's vital that you focus on your own personal asset allocation, that you recognize we're in a global synchronized bull market. And what I'm talking about is diversification, not just across U.S. markets, but also non-U.S. markets and have a globally focused portfolio. Bottom line is, we're already in the happy time of year, typically ignites a continued stock market rally through year end. And if corporate tax reform and a boost to earnings growth continue, this rally is set to go well into the new year. So what that means is any dip I view as a buying opportunity. Remember, all dips in history have been temporary and the ups inevitable. Now, if you're wondering, am I positioned properly to benefit from this big, booming bull market? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? Just give us a call or text us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Don't miss out. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know pinball was once banned in the city? It was in place until 1978. Speaking of pinballs, if you're tired of watching your accounts bounce all over the place, you should keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And one of Bob and I's biggest missions at Payne Capital is to give you the most practical, pragmatic advice, decisions you can make about your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide here for the end of the year, seven smart year-end tax tips for the savvy investor, just seven practical tips that you can use here on your portfolio for your planning at the end of the year. And you simply just text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. Again, that's the word bullish to 555-888. And you can download a free copy of our newest guide. That's seven smart year end tax tips for the savvy investor. Seven tips looking at taxes, inheritance, your investments, practical things you can do here before the end of the year. So simply text the word bullish to 555-888. Get our latest guide, seven smart year end tax tips for the savvy investor. That's the word bullish. Text it to 555-888. Again, the word bullish to 555-888. And we are coming to the end of the year. And the best time to start thinking about your 2018 planning is now. So dad, you know, for 40 years, we've been building customized financial plans. And we've pretty much broken it down, I would say, to you know, a pretty distinct process. So I thought, you know, why don't we discuss some of the practical measures that you need to take now to set your financial objectives for 2018. And the one thing I think about when you're talking about goals is you always talk about the great four goals of life, Bob. You know, why don't you break that down for us this morning? Well, Ry, what I've discovered after doing this for 42 years is that no matter how much you have, no matter what your worth is, 
no matter at what age you're at, that the four great goals of your financial life are these. Number one, you want to create a lifetime of income that you can outlive. Second great goal of life is the education of your children and your grandchildren, if you're lucky to have those. And third ah. is your charitable contributions, right? If it's a, you know, being able to make contributions to your cherished institutions or your favorite charities. And lastly, the last great goal of life is the transfer of your wealth to your heirs or your cherished institutions with the least amount of government partnership. Yeah. And I think, you know, Bob, when you think about financial planning, you know, income is so, so critical. But I think, you know, when we're talking about practical steps, even before we put the carpet for the horse, I think the first thing you need to do is take an inventory of everything you have. And what's you know, a better time to do that at the end of the year, you're going to get all your end of the year statements in. This is one of the reasons why we built that 360 portal, because it's so critical to know where everything is, be able to analyze everything in one place and being able to look at all those things. Then you can start to look at, you know, what are those great goals that I have? You know, how am I going to create my lifetime of income? But if you don't even know what you have and you don't even know where it is, you know, you can't even start to, to think about those goals or implement a, a plan to get to those goals. Well, you know, Ry, that's why we created that device, you know, 40 years ago of A to B, right? What could be more simple than getting from your financial point A, you know, to your financial point B, right? At point A, you just got to create an inventory of what you have in financial assets, but not just, you know, it's not just what you own. It's also your passive income streams, you know, what you're entitled to, what your inheritance may be. And then your point B is, you know, the great goals of life. Now, it's not just sitting down and thinking about it. It's about monitoring your progress towards those goals. And that's why I, I agree with you. I think the 360 portal is a game changer, you know, for every investor, because not only does it force you to take that step in financial planning, but it measures it in real time. And so what are some of the benefits of that, right? Well, I think I think the big thing is going back to income and looking at things in real time is I, I'm willing to bet you have no idea how much income your portfolio generates on an annual basis. And if you're thinking about retirement planning and you know what you're going to have in your social security down the line, maybe you have a pension, most likely not with the way the world is today. But you know what I think about is I want to know what kind of income that all of my investments generate. And that's what I love about that 360 portal because we'll break down every single investment you own and we'll do a tally up of how much income is your portfolio going to generate on an annual basis, which that's a key component to you know, starting to figure out what you can possibly live on in retirement. You know, look, right. Let's face it. People are really busy, right? I mean, people are, you know, between their family and their job, you know, and their recreation. There's not a lot of time to sit down and figure out how much income you're earning or what you're spending. And isn't that one of the great things about the 360 portal really gets down to the root of what's important, and it does it for you, right? If you just uh, you connect your portfolios to the 360 portal, it tells you how much income you're generating, and then if you you know, import your visa in your checking account, like we've done, it tells you how much you're spending. So, you know, if you're too busy to sit down and get started, isn't it easier when something like a computer does it for you? I'll tell you what, I set myself up with the, the budgeting tool. It's painful, no pun intended, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it is. It's actually, it's, it's very helpful when you're trying to see, okay, what do I really spend? You can break down what you're spending things on because that's the other thing you can categorize what your spending is. Because that's the one thing I find is a lot of times you find it very hard to come up with your budget. You don't mm -hmm. know what you're really spending. And I think that comes down to two things. Number one, it's a lot of work to go through those statements or to log in those different accounts and tally up all the different things you're spending money on. The other thing is you might not want to know. You're probably a little bit afraid of what you actually do spend on an annual basis. But what I love about this tool is it consolidates it all. It breaks down exactly what you're spending, what you're spending it on. And then from there, you can work backwards and say, okay, you know, this is what I spend. This is what I need to cut out. Or if I want to spend this, this is what I'm going to need to save for retirement. And these are the income needs that I'm going to need to generate so I can have this lifestyle that I've come accustomed to. Well, the beauty of it is it, it creates a snapshot immediately. Okay, where am I? You know, where am I on this life continuum? Am I going to reach my goals? Am I going to fall short? Isn't it better to find out when you're 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 that you're going to have an issue that you can address as opposed to when that time comes and you find out it's too late? I mean, think about all the, you know, the simple steps you can take by maybe cutting a little bit of your expense or adding more to your 401k 
or by simply reducing your taxes or your, you know, by reducing the cost of managing your portfolio. I mean, after 42 years, one thing that I'm most proud of, son, is how many people we've helped achieve their goals, how many children we've educated, how many estates we've created. I mean, that's the real reward for being a fiduciary. Yeah. And it comes down to, again, helping you get financially organized. And I think that's what you have to do first. You know, look, 2018 is four weeks away. We are down the home stretch for the year. What a great time to set these things up, to start putting together what that budget's going to look like, because then you can start to track over the year what that spending is going to look like. Then we can start to work backwards and look at, okay, this is what we need to plan for. This is what we're going to need to have you save. And what I like, Bob, is one login. <laughs> How tired are you uh, of trying to log into 100 different accounts with 100 different passwords that they want to change on a regular basis with different security questions? You know, what was your... What was the name of your dog in high school? <laughs> you know, what was the make of your car when you were in college? So, I mean, I think all those things you know, can be simplified and made a lot easier. But the first step is tallying everything up. And that's why I love the 360 portal. It's a great way to do that. You know, you meet with 30 to 40 people a month. And when you ask them on a scale of 1 to 10, how organized are they financially? What do they typically tell you? Oh, typically, I would say around a 4. <laughs> is probably what you, you are right now. And when you ask them how organized would they like to be, what do they tell you? A 10. Don't we all want to be a 10, Bob? Yeah. And all you got to do is be one of the next 10 callers if you want to be a 10. And especially if you've saved over 200000 for retirement, because we will create for you a customized 360 financial portal. And just like Ryan said, you don't need to remember all of your passwords, all of your account numbers, all the security questions. One log on to see your entire financial life updated in real time. What's your net worth? How much is your portfolio worth? How much did you make this week? You know, and then have your goals articulated, not only demonstrating what your goals are, but telling you if you're on track to achieve your financial goals. I can't think of any way to sleep better at night knowing that all your financial goals are taken care of. Then you can start really having fun in life. See, if you're one of the next 10 callers, what we're going to do for you is not only analyze you know, your goals and whether you're on track to meet your goals, but we're going to analyze your portfolio to make sure that you're not paying any of those, you know, hidden costs. You're not overcharging yourself in your portfolio strategy to be certain that you're generating the income. Maybe not that you need today, but you certainly will need in those retirement years. And finally, we're going to tie it all together into wealth projections that will answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? And we're going to utilize the strategies that my son and I have been perfecting now for 40 years. That's right, folks, for over four decades. We want to help take you from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as we have for many, many families over the last 42 years. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 844- 752-6692. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, be one of the next 10 callers at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's call or text to 844-752-6692. Again, 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. It's time to get financially organized. Take advantage and call us or text us at 844 844- Plan NYC. That's 844 752 6692. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. It's time for financial pornography of the week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call up the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what'd you find this week out there in the world of financial pornography? Well, Rai, sadly, yesterday we buried one of our long-term clients and a real world hero, one of our clients who had flown 34 missions over Nazi Germany in World War II. Wow, And we, uh, we honored him yesterday. And um, you know, the unfortunate thing about it, I saw financial pornography at work and what it does. You know, at really? the luncheon, ran into a lot of people that were his age and a lot of people in my generation. 
And of course, they all know that I've been a financial advisor my whole life. And everybody made a comment about how great the stock market's doing, how great the economy's doing. And then you know what they universally said right after that? It's a shame. Things are so bad right now and everything's such a mess. So bad. Are they living under a rock? <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, I said to all of them, I said, what do you mean it's a mess? Oh my goodness, Bob, things are so bad right now. I said, you know what things were bad? Was when my client was flying 34 missions over Europe to protect us from the Nazis who were trying to kill us, you know, who are committing genocide in Europe, and then were trying to kill us and wipe us out. That's when things were bad. I said, when the Soviet Union was trying to wipe us out, that's when things were bad. I said, things have never been better. So, you know, why do people think things are so bad, right? I think it's maybe just uh, the way it always is. When you're living it at the time, you don't realize how good things are until retrospect. I mean, let's face it, we talk about this a lot, but as an investor right now, you have global economic growth synchronized around the world. We have some of the lowest unemployment numbers we've ever seen in our country. We're, we're close to 4%, and that could even go down to 3% unemployment. We've got steady, steady earnings uh, going up. Earnings, uh, I'm surprised on the positive side for the last few quarters, and it looks like that's going to continue as well. You know, so when you look at all those things, it's it's almost and inflation is relatively low. We don't have high inflation like we did back in the seventies. You know, remember how how horrible that was as well. So, yeah, it's it is a little mind blowing when you think about it because when you think about all the economic measures that we look at, I mean, things really aren't can't get much better, Bob. Well, that's the thing. I mean, it, it, people think the world is a mess, but actually, it's just messy, right? Things are actually really pretty darn good when you look at where we were fifty or seventy years ago in terms of the world conflict. You know, we now have a world that's pretty peaceful, right? We don't have any major powers in conflict. We have, you know, small wars, but not major wars. But, you know, fear is something that's instinctive, right? And, you know, I'm not saying people shouldn't be fearful. But the thing is, when you have a certain view that things are bad, that's where financial pornography comes in. Because when you have a certain view, you don't seek out a different opinion, right? You don't, you look for things that confirm the opinion that you have. So that there's plenty of negative feedback out there, you know, in financial pornography. And that's why we say to avoid it. We say to focus on the facts. Don't focus on your fears. Yeah, I think now is a perfect time. If you're th sitting there thinking to yourself, I have way too much money in cash earning nothing because I'm waiting for that shoe to drop or I'm waiting for whatever cataclysmic events on the horizon. Well, the reality of it is it's probably not going to happen. And if it does... Well, if you're diversified, it shouldn't be that dramatic in terms of what you know what it does to your portfolio. So, yeah, I, I agree with you, Bob. It's uh, in the words of one of your famous quotes: "The world doesn't end very often. <laughs> we are living in pretty good times." Yeah, I'm going to be right. We're living in the safest time in history, and unfortunately, it's happening in a country where we exist in a culture of fear, and that's primarily from the negative feedback loop that we get on our boob tube every day. Yeah. Exactly. And that's something you need to avoid, especially as you're planning for retirement and making decisions about how you're going to invest your money. So emotionalist is better than being fearful. So I have some financial pornography this week that uh, struck me as I was going to buy a Christmas tree this year, Bob. And you'll really? never believe what the going rate for Christmas trees in New York City is in 2017, this December. Do you want to take a wild guess what the, uh, the going rate for a seven foot tree is? My guess would be about eighty dollars. Eighty dollars, double that. No, a hundred and sixty dollars. Now, last year the same tree cost me a hundred dollars, which hmm. makes me think inflation is real. You know, <laughs> I was, at least it is. With, uh, I almost Christmas trees. Uh, fainted when I got that price for a tree. <laughs> So I didn't feel so bad taking my artificial tree out of the box the other day. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think the point is, it made me think about is inflation, right? Cost of living, the prices are going up. We haven't seen it in the CPI numbers that they produce uh, through the government, but the reality of it is, and you know, the other thing that's been sneaking up is oil prices. You know, oil mm -hmm. is almost close to $60 a barrel again. I and mean, I think just another reason why you have to be invested right now because cost of living is going higher. And I just mentioned before, you know, if you have money sitting in cash right now, you're earning nothing and cost of living is going up, you are losing. You know, Because you're sitting in cash and your money's not fluctuating, that doesn't mean you're not losing right now. Well, as I said, Ry, last week we were talking about the Federal Reserve and, and how they, they're creating this complacency that you know inflation's low, we're going to raise rates gradually. Yeah, it is low, but it's still going up. 
And, you know, I see our clients who have been in retirement now for 20 or 30 years, and they complain to me all the time about their real estate taxes, their insurance coverage, their medical costs. I mean, the medical costs, they're exorbitant. And when you factor that all in, you know, inflation is really the biggest risk to people achieving their goals. And that's why planning is so critical to make those projections every day, every year, that you're overcoming inflation with a positive rate of return. You know, and that's that fear that drives people to sit in cash. And there's no, there's no return. I mean, what's the return on cash now? Best money market in the country is probably close to 1%. And if inflation's averaged 3% since World War II, well, you're actually getting a negative 2% return every year based on historical averages. That's not a very good return. Breaks my heart when you see a nice conservative portfolio return 6 to 7% a year for 40 years, and the average investor is still making less than 2 And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a plan to get to retirement, get through retirement, cost of living is going up. I don't have a plan that addresses that. Here's your shot to do it. We have 10 slots open. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. That's a full review where we are going to literally look at everything. Bring in all those statements. Wait till the end of the month. Bring in those 401ks, IRAs, brokerage accounts, those insurance policies you bought years ago. You have no idea what to do with your annuities. We're going to analyze everything. We're going to build you a customized portal, and we're going to break down all of your investments within that portal. We're going to look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. How much are you really paying on your portfolio? What are those hidden costs? We're going to break down all the fees on your portfolio and see if we can reduce the overall cost of your portfolio on an annual basis. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. How much income does your portfolio produce today? We're going to break down all your investments, all the income, and Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio for retirement. And we're going to look at diversification. What risks do you have in your portfolio? Are you properly allocated across all your accounts? We're going to point out all the pitfalls in your portfolio and show you how to get properly diversified. And then finally, we're going to model out for you what retirement's going to look like or can look like if you are retired using our 360 financial portal. And we're going to determine, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we've literally been working on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Don't put it off for another day. Text us or call us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over $200,000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own personal 360 financial portal. Just give us a call or text us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. This is Ryan Payne. And we are No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. How's that saying go? No pain, no gain? It's the name of our show, too, but we spell pain, P-A-Y-N-E. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain, financial radio. And Bob and I, our mission in life is to educate you to make sure that you make the best decisions, common sense decisions when it comes to your finances. There's so much bad information out there. We like to cut through the weeds and just give you practical advice. And our latest guide does just that. Seven smart year-end tax tips for the savvy investor. Just seven tips, seven strategies you can use here at the end of the year to optimize your investing and planning. Simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888, and you can download our latest guide, Seven Smart Year-End Tax Tips for the Savvy Investor. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888, get a free copy, text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888, and you can implement a couple of strategies before 2018 to put you on the right footing for the new year. And if you ever want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can do that. You can check us out on the World Wide Web at www.bebullish.com. That's www.bebullish.com. And you can find out if Bob's hair is real. 
It is for the record. <laughs> um, and if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can email us. Questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a really good question, we're going to answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got some pretty good questions. Bob, the first question that comes in is from Jane, who's in Morristown, New Jersey. She writes, Bob, I'll be retiring in exactly one year. What's on the list of things I need to do before I officially walk away? Jane, the first thing you need to do is re-listen to today's show because what we talked about at the beginning of the show, at the top of the show, was the A to B process. And that's the first thing you've got to be certain is nailed down and you're up to date and your wealth projections show that you're in great shape financially. Now, where do you start? Well, you start at the beginning. Let's look at your point A. You know, what do you have in terms of assets? Let's break it down into what type of income they're generating and be certain of what that income is generating. And we want to be look at whether it's taxable income or tax-free income. Second thing we want to look at are the passive income streams that you're entitled to. Social Security, you know, you just don't want to sign up for Social Security. You want to make sure they have the correct Social Security strategy. My son Ryan's created some phenomenal tools that will enable you to look at, you know, when's the best time to take that Social Security? What's the maximum benefit to you and to your family? We want to look at your pensions to make sure your pension benefits, you know, are going to start on time. And if you have a spouse, you know, that there's a spousal benefit. The other day, I was just uh, looking at my own portfolio and realized that I'm going to have a pension starting in about six months from one of the companies I work for. I called them up and, and asked them if there's anything I needed to do. And they said, no, no problem, Bob. We're mailing everything to you, except for they had the wrong mailing address, wrong email address, and the wrong phone number. Let's check mm -hmm. every company you ever worked at and make sure that your pension benefit is going to be going to you at your address. And then we want to look at your goals and make sure that you're on target to hit those goals, not just your income goals, but your estate goals. Let's make sure that everything's titled properly. Beneficiaries are correct, that, you know, you're doing the right, making the correct moves with your estate plan. Let's look at your insurance coverage. You know, a lot of times we have insurance to replace income while we're working. Well, if you're retired, you don't have income to replace. You may be able to eliminate that insurance and get that principal invested somewhere else. Let's look at your annuity contracts and make sure you annuitize those properly. You know, there's plenty to do, Jane, but paramount is let's look at your budget. You know, I've had many, many clients who wanted to retire early who told me what their budget would be. And then when we really sat down and took them through the 360 financial portal, we found out they were spending twice as much as they thought they were going to spend. That's a problem. Not a problem that can't be adjusted or can't be addressed. But these are some of the critical issues, Jane. But the most important decision you make right now is give us a call, set up an appointment, and let us create for you your own personal 360 financial portal. So, right, Jane's getting ready to retire. So that was a good case. What else do we have in the mailbag this week? Norm Bob writes in from Long Island. He writes in, Ryan, how much risk is appropriate to take with my investments now that I'm retired? Well, that's a good question. And Bob, you know, it reminds me of one of my favorite Bobisms, and that's your portfolio should be at the sleep point. Meaning if the market was to crash or correct tomorrow, would you still be able to sleep at night? And I think that's probably one of the most important things you need to consider because, you know, one of the things going on right now is we've been in a nine year bull market. Everything's going up. But we have to start thinking about is if the market was to correct, how much risk can I take on the downside? I mean, that's one of the first things I think about, Bob. Right, I agree with you so much. Um, I think one of the things that it's not really talked about, you and I will talk about it on our show week to week, but no one's talking about the lack of liquidity in the financial markets today. You know, nobody minds when the market goes up 255 points like it did one day this earlier this week. Nobody minds, you know, volatility to the upside. You know what they really get upset about? volatility to the downside. And under this Dodd-Frank rule, you know, there's no longer liquidity provided by the banks, you know, where they used to buy when the markets would crash or have big down days. So you're going to see, I think, increased volatility. And for someone who's not looking at the risk tolerance or how, how much risk they can handle, they're going to panic and panic often. Yeah. You, you really need to assess that risk in your portfolio because again, it's great when everything's going up but you need to know what it looks like when it goes down. And furthermore, I would argue, why take more risk than you have to? The other thing exactly. that I see very often is, you know, hey, you might be getting a great return on your investments, 
you may have a more risky portfolio, but do you really need that risk? You know, if you could get away with a more conservative portfolio, now when the market's going up, your portfolio is not going to go up as much as the market. But more importantly, like we keep talking about, that is that downside is you're going to be much more insulated on the downside. And the irony is over time, you can actually achieve better returns on your portfolio with a less risky portfolio because it's not really about the upside. The upside takes care of itself is what we like to say, but it's really how much you don't lose on the downside. And the best time to make those decisions is when the win is actually at your back. You don't want to be doing this once the market corrects and then trying to figure it out. It's critical now to find out what risks you have in your portfolio. And we actually do an analysis to look at how badly did your portfolio perform in the last bear market that started at the end of 2007. And you know these are the things you need to start to look at. And these are things you have to start to really consider, especially as you become more dependent on your portfolio. Right. It's not just taking too much risk in your portfolio. It's sometimes you're not taking enough risk. You know, with that $9 trillion sitting in cash right now, some of those investors are missing the boat and not taking the risk they need to take to overcome inflation and taxation. And if you are sitting there thinking, how much risk am I taking? Am I taking enough risk in my portfolio or am I taking too much risk in my portfolio? Why sit there and wonder when you could know? If you're one of the next few callers and you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement, my son and I will run for you your own personal 360 financial portal to answer that question. Now, if you're one of the next 10 callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to look at your tax return, not just us, but our CPA partner, to make sure that you're taking advantage of every tax loophole that's left, both now and under this new tax law that's coming. We want to look at your legal documents. We want to look at your estate plan. You know, what good is it if you have an estate plan that's not titled properly? And we see that happening all the time. Let's be certain that every asset is titled properly so that that estate plan that you paid so much for will be implemented properly. And lastly, hey, let's look at all your investments. You know, you have your statements coming in for the month. You know, you know I know it's, it takes a lot of time to open them up, look through them. Hey, grab a shopping bag, stick them in a bag, bring them in. We'll break it all down for you into one simple document. Very simple to read. It'll compare apples to apples and look at the three critical elements of a successful portfolio. Diversification, cost, and income. Let's make sure that you're diversified properly across asset classes and within asset classes. Let's look at your cost. No one likes to be overcharged. You certainly don't want to be overcharged by something that's been hidden purposely from your view. And lastly, let's make sure we're optimizing that income or we're going to be able to create a more dependable income once you hit that retirement year. And lastly, we're going to look at a wealth projection that will answer the age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? And we're going to demonstrate that with strategies that my son and I have been utilizing and perfecting now for over 40 years. That's correct, folks. For four decades, We've been helping families like yours get from your point A to your financial point B, your goals, your dreams with your values, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as fiduciaries can provide. So don't waste time. Call us or text at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Get the full review. We have a couple slots left at 844 plan NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Get everything tallied up. We'll build you a full portal so you can see everything at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Be one of the next few callers. Call us or text us. This is no pain, no gain financial radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And one of Bob and I's goals is always education. And before the end of the year, we put together our latest guide, Seven Smart Year-End Tax Tips for the Savvy Investor. If you'd like to get a copy for free, simply text the word BULLISH, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555 555- 888. Again, that's the word bullish to 555-888. Give you a couple practical year-end strategies you can use on your portfolio. Seven smart year-end tax tips for the savvy investor. Get a free copy. Simply text the word 
bullish. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. Again, text the word bullish to 555-888. And it's time for my favorite part of the show. It's time for our spotlight segment. And each week, what we do is we dissect a real financial plan and uncover the flaws or what we call pain points. That's P-A-Y-N-E for the record. So you can avoid the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. And we have a very special guest this morning, our colleague, our star financial advisor, Miss Frankie Lagrateria. Good morning, Frankie. Thanks for being on the show. Good morning. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to hang uh, with Frankie and her financial friends. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a club. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive club. All right, Francesca. What do you have for us today? So actually, I have a, a pretty cool case that Ryan and I worked on. And uh, the importance of, of this case, I think, kind of boils down to working with a fiduciary, working with someone who's working in your best interest, you the investor. The case that we had this week, you would not believe the expenses and the fees this man was paying. Over $70,000 just in fees. Now that's someone's like annual salary. This man is just paying in fees. And he had several different annuities, all marked up to the highest expenses. All I'm sure had a pretty markup when he first got into it and uh, had no idea that for the past, you know, five years plus, he was paying this much. Yeah. And the sad part is he's in real estate. He was working, 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 wasn't really paying attention to the investments. And then finally, he uh, sold a couple of his buildings. He's looking to, to dial back. He started watching his investments and noticed he hadn't been making any money. And aren't we in a bull market? It's definitely expected in a bull market like today that your money's making, you know, is making something, is growing, is appreciating. So, you know, if you're, if you see that, especially this year that you're flat, you know, maybe it's because you're losing money in areas like your fees. Well, what I don't understand is when you have a portfolio of all annuities, is there some rule where you should have some liquid investments in your portfolio? I mean, who would put someone 100% into annuities? That are well, Bob, good question. He uh, <laughs> he actually did have one account with uh, some mutual funds in there, which are you know very liquid investments. But uh, that account was also internal fees over two percent, almost two and a half. So how much could you reduce his cost per year just by simply putting him into a simple? conservative portfolio like we do for the majority of our clients? Well, between the uh, the income he'll be making and the fees that he'll be saving, he has an annual net increase of over $103,000. Unbelievable. Yeah, just reducing his cost every year by the 53000 we figure we estimated. And then on top of that, the thing about those illiquid annuity type investments he has, he's getting no current income. So Frank, to your point, by just getting him to a lower cost strategy that pays a lot of dividends and interest, not only is he saving the fifty thousand a year, but he gets another fifty thousand a year in income. So that's a hundred grand a year that we know he's going to get over twelve months. That right now, you know, just getting into a low cost portfolio that pays pays well is, I mean, talk about a significant difference. Yeah, right. I mean, would you rather spend seventy thousand or make a hundred? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the sales would rather you spend the 70000 because that goes in <laughs> their pocket. Yeah. If you're the investor, you want that 70000 in your pocket. But that's just, that's extreme. It's almost a 5% increase. If you compound this $2 million portfolio at over 5%, that's going to be an additional $3 million you generate in 20 years. It's not just the money that they're paying today. It's the money they're not going to have over the next 20 years that they could either give to charity or you know, give to their heirs. Absolutely. And even if you want to just keep it for yourself, I mean, <laughs> you should make it's your money that he worked hard for. It should be going to him, not to the advisor. Yeah, and the other thing that I've mentioned there too, Frankie, it's important. I think a lot of this, if you own an annuity right now, his biggest hurdle was he had big back end charges. So a lot of times you'll see that you'll have a back end charge. So you'll say, I, I'm locked into this thing, I can't get out. I have to wait seven years until the surrender charges go away. Well, when you run the math on it, he was actually better off taking those surrender charges, which were over $100,000. And you might be saying, whoa, that's crazy. But if you're going to save over $50,000 a year, increase your income by $50,000, you're going to make up that $100,000 back end charge pretty quickly. 
So it's better to get out of these things and stay in there because every year you stay in there, you're paying another $70,000 plus in fees. So it's kind of deceiving to think, even though I'm locked in, I should stay in. They want to keep you in there because it's going to be more expensive for you to actually sit in this annuity as opposed to getting out. Frankie and Rod, I see this all the time. These people advertise these investments that uh, you get all the upside. There's none of the downside and it doesn't cost anything. There's no cost. But then every time a client comes in or, you know, someone new comes in and they have us review these investments, there's $70,000 worth of fees. How, how can they keep telling people there's no cost when there clearly is? Absolutely, Frank, Bob. And there. I think that's just the importance of, uh, of working with a fiduciary, you know, someone who's going to sit here and say, hey, you know, if this is what you really want, he really wants to be in this annuity. At least he knows the bells. He knows the whistles. He knows the fees he's paying. Most likely people are going to opt to get out of it, especially, you know, to Ryan's point to save a little money. So even take the hit and do something where you're saving money and bringing in more income. But, you know, it's just important to kind of know the whole story. Yeah. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I don't understand the whole story on my investments. What fees am I really paying? What have I bought or been sold and don't really understand how it works? Here's your shot to get a full, clear review on everything. We have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 and you're one of the next 10 callers, myself, Bob, and Frankie, and all our financial friends will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. That's a full review where we'll analyze every single investment you have. Bring in those statements. We're going to load everything in and build you a customized portal so you can see everything in one place. We can analyze everything for you and break down all the important components. We're going to look at fees. How much are you really paying in fees? Are you paying $70,000 in fees? Can you save $50,000 a year? Let's break it down. We'll show you all the hidden costs you don't know you're paying in your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical when building your retirement plan. We increase this couple's income by $50,000 a year. How much can you increase or optimize the income on your portfolio? And we're going to look at diversification. What risks, what pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Are you prepared if the next downturn in the market comes? Is your portfolio retirement ready? We're going to break it all out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to model out in the portal, is your money going to outlive you or are you going to outlive your money? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for literally over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So don't miss out. We have a few slots left. Give us a call or text us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 844- 752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over $200,000 for retirement. My team at Payne Capital Management will create for you a window into your financial life. Create your own personal 360 financial portal. Just give us a call or text us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another fantastic show this morning. And as always... It's amazing, Frankie, to have you on the show. Thank you. It's great to be on it. Frankie, wonderful job. Another total financial masterpiece. (laughs) Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Well, well done, gang. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.